guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kavenzi Farrell, for those who are watching me for the first time. And thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And so today, as you all know, we are in December, the festive season. And today is Jamhuri Day, for those who are seeing this video. Aha, uh -huh. and I want to prepare something for you today. I want to prepare for you some pilau and some beef stew. And I want you to see that simple recipe. It's just some simple thing. And so, you can come with me. So these are some onions and tangawizi or ginger. And then some garlic over here. And then here, I have some grated tomato. And then I have some, what is this called? That is Juve is Naitwa na Kizungu, but they are called Dania in Kiswahili. And then here, we have a mixture of pilipili hoho, kojet, tomato. Yes, these ones are for beef stew, even these Danias over here. But this, Dini, this grated tomato and these onions, these ones are for pilau. So let's go and start off cooking. So guys, this is a tomato paste. This one is for cooking pilau. This one is for the beef, beef stew. Some pilau masala over here. We have a spoon. This one is for the soup. And then the soup here. Here it is, as big as you can see. We are cooking for 20 people. Fire. And then this is the rice. This is basmati or pishori. Pishori. This is pishori. Yes. So guys, let's get to the kitchen. I had first put the meat to boil. I don't know if it's ready. Let me check it out. I think it's ready. Simply on. That's good. Okay, so let me test it so that it's ready. Can you make a chumbe? No. No, I But I'm going to get a little bit of a car. Add oil to the sufuria. Hi, sufuria. Me si me si mama. Kita tosha. Kieni mnyanya na niambia. Kieni tu. Pilau, pilau ni makuta. Sawa. And then you add your kitungu and some ginger and some garlic. Nini ni sisi tahiti apa mo jatu na yuo time wewe. You let the the makuta heat. Yes. First, then you add. So you let them boil together. So guys, you wait for them to turn brown like this. Then after they turn like that, you know, add your meat. So guys, we've added the meat, and now you will stir. You stir <laughs> until it turns to brown. But then for us, we will just funikia. Funike ni Just funikia the sufuria and wait for it to become brown. So guys, this is how the meat looks like. It's golden brown. So now, after that, you can now add your tomato. After adding it, you stir. This is how it turns out to be after you stir it. So guys, after you've stirred, you add your pilau masala, your tomato paste, and and some salt over here. Yes, so these are all seasonings. You can add them to make your pilau taste even more better. I'll show you how 
it will turn out so i've added the seasoning as you can see there it is and now i want to stir and there is this smell that comes out of it it's very good so guys after you've stirred and it looks like this it looks red brownish in color now you can come and add water and because i'm putting more rice i need like i'm putting three kgs of rice so i need to put water that is double the three kgs i have to put six kgs of water in this prepare. so guys that is the water and now i'm headed to wash my rice this is my rice over here and then ni wekele sasa so guys the rice is there it's already cleaned here is our water it's already boiling so i'm adding the rice to the water and then after that we funikie we wait for it to to get ready for eating before we add the the rice i forgot to tell you something if you want to know if your salt and all your seasonings are okay you add the water before you put the rice and then you you taste that water and if that water has the salt to your expectation then you're good to go yeah so mine is good so we, we just move on so guys this is the final result let's check our pilau is now ready as you all can see and we are ready to eat it so guys that is my way of cooking pilau just let me know in the comment section how you cook your pilau and i'm so sorry i didn't get the chance of cooking the beef stew my friend did it it's because of time and our visitors are coming so i had to speed it up so guys thank you for liking my video subscribe share like and comment for more videos